Slark. Troll having a very nice time in the mid lane. A great laning hero. Thought As we've said you? multiple times, Troll kind of does it all. And he's a little bit good at everything. So that makes the hero maybe not OP, but, you know, bottom lane, we're going to see Lil just get uh, dove. And I guess this is kind of why we saw them avoid putting anyone down. Not bad timing at all. DK Phobos does manage to grab that now onto the axe. And top lane going straight in onto Paris. But Paris tries to TP out. Culling Blade will stop and find the kill onto the Night Stalker. Mystic Flare, Ancient Seal on to come with me. He's being chased down by G and FNG. The slows there from Sing Sing with the axes. We'll get to turn around trying to look for the Titans and trying to get the Ravage off. Just cancel it as he realizes there's going to be no follow-up because the rest of his team are dead next. Necroman cleaning up on the back lines there with a double kill there with the ultimate. Sing Sing going to be able to finish off what is left of the Ancient. A smoke up from Asus. It's a smoke into smoke. Necroman, this is why you give him the Aegis. They go straight onto him. Throw down Mystic Flare, but he will be back for round two. DK Phobos walking behind the secret shot. Paris taking that. In comes a little Storm Rage with the back of the eye. They manage to clean up the Night Stalker. Ravage massively catching out four heroes. The Hand of God that comes straight through, negating all the damage that was done. The fight still going off. Five heroes down on Asus. Again, they caught Necroman, that was the worst hero to initiate. They're gonna try to catch him again though here top lane. Oh, miss on the call, unfortunate. Radiant He's Necron. actually gonna die for that. Yeah, he turns around yeah. as Viscara, finds a kill. DK Phobos isn't gonna be able to stop that. Maybe they turn around to Ancient Seal onto the Chen, and you're talking about if they can kill the Chen first in these team fights, it could very well go the way of Asus. Axis is gonna get Yule's up though, and now with the Light Strike Array and the Laguna Blade, that massive new gun. He's there to ravage onto free. Mystic Flare, they find two heroes, and now they're gonna go for more. Sing Sing, he doesn't know what to do. He tries to fight up a slot with a Shadow Dance. Sing Sing will find the kill onto the Titan, but Illidan turning around. Are they going to get out? They are, because they're scared. Necroman with a double kill. He's going to be able to blink forward in a bit. He's still got a lot of mana. He could look for more here. Who's he going to fight? He's going to fight the Sky. Blinking forward with this nuke and with the right clicks. That's a triple kill for Necroman. Axe will TP the hell out there. Illidan will run away. Three kills there on the Queen of Pain. Those things are huge. You just absolutely need it. Nice positioning though coming in from uh, Asus. Yep, indeed, and not very good positioning coming in from Mine Nuts. He's getting caught out by Illidan. Pops the hand of God. Paris gets silenced up as DK Phobos trying to work on the Night Stalker. Skyrim getting very low to the Queen of Pain and Necroman. That's a one kill. That's a two kill. Double kill for Necro. Blinking in with the Yules from Common Me. Catching out the Axe with the Goon of Blade and the Light Strike Array. Triple kill for this Queen of Pain. Necroman doing absolute slaughter against the side of Ace Sing Sing. He's able to find half of the racks, and that looks like that's what they're going to be happy with as Skyrim and the IO. Are now back available. Aces, they realize this and they want to try and find someone here on the retreat. Sing Sing, of course, does still have that Aegis. Pounce forward from Illidan. And now BKB from Necroman wants to try and jump into the fight here. Massive ult. They're catching out G and Illidan versus Lone. That is your time to going down. Illidan pops the Shadow Dance. Mystic Slow comes down as minus with the Edge Seal as well, but it's not enough to kill the Jet. Two heroes at the moment down on Aces. One on Queen of Pain. It's a mega kill streak for Illidan. He wants to go back in. And now he's looking for the Sing Sing. Goes straight in. Bringing Troll fairly, fairly low. But the Bash is in the Edge Seal onto Illidan there. He can't die. Packed off the Shadow because his time was not there. Illidan's down three heroes. Now Sing Sing will fall as he gets Ancient sealed up and the damage coming through. Light Strike Array onto the Axe Axe getting very low. Heads to the high ground. Paris, my nuts. And come with me. Chasing him down with the Under Shadows. Ticking him down as well. Dyer's Into the jungle. DK Phobos looking for the Jukes. Won't be able to blink out because the Under Shadows. There we go with the Void from Paris. Finds the kill at the end. Four heroes down on Aces. Two on Burning United. And there's not going to be an Aegis. So they want to fight a real five versus five. This is the time. And here we go, DK Phobos drowns Minus with the Mystic Flare and the core. He is down. G with a Ravage catching out a couple. Sing Sing pop the BKB. In comes the ultimate from Queen of Pain. Two heroes down though, Burning United. Sing Sing trying to chase down the Skyrim with the ranged attack. Should be able to find it with the Orchid of Malevolence damage. He goes down. Three heroes. Can they find Illidan as well? He's fighting up through the Shadow Dance. Shadow Dance about to wear out, so he gets out. Phobos, he's trying to man up against this Lena with the Berserkers called the Boosted Armor. Won't be enough to stop the physical damage from Sing Sing and come with me in tandem. Four heroes down on Asus. Maybe they can get Illidan. He does, of course, have that BKB though as well, so it's going to be hard to catch him out. And well, they're going to go for FNG with the silence, and that should be the IO straight down in the fight. BKB is popped by Sing Sing and Necroman straight away, so they can't get caught out by the Ravage. Illidan pounces through, the bash is onto Necroman. It's two heroes down on Asus at the moment. Oh, and then the combinations of the Lina and the Queen of Pain working in tandem to bring down the Axe. Blow him up. Only two heroes left. Illidan, he's trying to fight up against this. Finally pops the Shadow Dance. He goes for the Chen, but now he's turning his attention away, looking for the bigger kills goes for the quap, but now he realizes he can't do it on his own without three Dyer's of the rest of his team and backs out attack. after the fight gets Yulster. There will be the light strike away in time. G, he goes forward, but hasn't, of course, got the ravage. It's already been used, orchided up. He G. goes down. G, G is called, and the, what an exciting series this Dyer's is turning out to be, Draskor. He's going to go fallen. to the final deciding game. Burden United, they play amazingly in that game. First game, Asus absolutely walk all over the side. I really don't know who this is going to go to, Draskor.
If we look at the first game, yeah. Asus had an amazing draft. Even if they had given away a worse laning phase, I still feel like they could have come back into the game. This time around, the draft from Burden United was good enough to where the momentum from their laning phase carried over into the mid game.